Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a smoke test on your BMW N55 engine. Now this test is very easy to do yourself at home if you have the right equipment. I'll go ahead and link you to the one that I'm using on the description below. Um, but just so you know, like this is a very useful test to A, if you made any changes to your, to your pressurized system, if you suspect a leak, or if you just want to verify that you don't have a leak, this will be something good for you. Uh, this is also good for your, like your, your EVAP system, for example, if you suspect that you, if you're getting faults for the EVAP system, this would be a good way to check to see if you have any leaks on it as well. Right. So the easiest place for me to be able to do this without tearing stuff apart would be right here where my intake filter is. However, it wouldn't be fair to show you guys that way because not everyone has an, a Bimmer house intake like I do. I highly recommend that if you guys want, I'll go ahead and put the link on the description. Um, but something that we all have is a turbo inlet pipe and that's located right below this elbow here which is uh, the last part of my current intake setup um, even if you have the factory turbo and the factory turbo inlet pipe it's still going to be in this location so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off this elbow so we can then seal it up with this and apply the smoke through here Okay, so the smoke line has been plugged in right here. You see the bong is in place there. Now, this pump is pretty cool because it's not only a smoke machine, but it also has a small pump in it. So it will actually pressurize the system that it's in. So it makes it much easier to look for any smoke. And it actually runs off the, the car's battery. So I got the, this one here plugged in. And then once I hook this up, I, just, I can go ahead and just hook it up to this bolt and it'll kick on. Well, I just made a rookie mistake. I thought I had found a leak here, but it turned out that now it was just that the, the pressurized smoke was making its way to the jet tube here. So it was actually starting to come out of the back of the math housing here. <laughs> so what I did is I went ahead and got one of the plugs that come with a kit. And now we can go ahead and continue testing. All right, we are doing good here. So there's a little bit of smoke coming out of that, that cover that I placed there, but that's okay. I, I'm, that's not a place that will ever leak, to be honest. It's just a plug that doesn't seal well against the housing. There's also smoke coming out of the front here with the air filter. <laughs> but more importantly, where it's not coming out of is the bottom where it connects to the intercooler and also on this side here. All this stuff is residual coming out of the air filter and there is no smoke coming out of the throttle body and the fogger area, which is where I was concerned about. So good. I'm happy. And guys, I did forget to mention, but one, one way that you could avoid having all that smoke coming out of, uh, out of the air filter and whatnot is this is just unique to my setup. And I guess the same thing would happen to you guys if you were to hook it up at the turbo inlet pipe, but if you have the factory set up with the air box over here on top of the on top of the intake manifold, you would have the turbo inlet pipe and then the other pipe that goes up this way coming up here to here. Here there's a connection point that you can go ahead and disconnect it from the from the MAF slash air box area. I think there's a clamp right around here. You can disconnect that and put that bong right here to pump smoke into it. And that way the jet line that goes from the charge pipe goes across and hooks up around here somewhere, which I don't have, of course, because of my custom intake, um, then you would not have any of that, any of those issues that I had, okay? So that's, pro if you have the factory intake, go ahead and hook it up to that side there. And for those of you that have an N55 that has the intake coming up by the front, uh, you should be able to just unhook that, that uh, inlet pipe from the air box and pump air from there all the way. So you see how easy it is to do a smoke test on an M55. It is very easy, especially when you have the right equipment. Again, the link is going to be down below. By the way, this is not sponsored. I bought this a long time ago on Amazon. So that's exactly where I'm going to point you guys at. I am not affiliated. Uh, I just want to help you guys out. In the past, I've actually used this and I was able to find a boost leak that I had at the intercooler outlet going to my up pipe, going into the charge pipe. That gasket was just torn up. So I was able to fix a boost leak with that. 
Uh, so I'm telling you, like, this is something that even if you don't have, if you don't think you have a boost leak, it's good to do a smoke test because you don't know what you're missing until you fix a, you find a boost leak and fix it. And it's like, oh my God, it's a whole new car. Yeah. Sometimes you just don't even notice. Sometimes you bought the car and it's had it all along and you had no idea. It could be minor, but I mean, an extra three PSI of pressure will make a big difference in power. So give it a shot. See what's up. Okay. Well, now that we have the smoke test out of the way, it's time to do a quick little upgrade. So you guys know I have a Bimmer House intake and something that Dan over at Bimmer House has been doing now is custom branded, custom, uh, uh, custom made parts. You'll go ahead and put your symbols or whatever you write, etc. So of course I, I'm a huge Transformers fan, mainly Decepticons right now, but I go back and forth with it, but got me a new map housing and check out that emblem. Now, you know, this is something that you're not going to see unless you're looking for it once it's in the car. But I know it's there. I think it's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this on right now. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And like I always say, I have more projects coming this way for the F10 and the Jetta. Thank you so much.